Good morning, it's Jennifer Sparks, and today we're going to be going to Williamsburg, Virginia, and checking out some food places, yes. Uh, we're going to be going to some pancake houses, we're going to be going to some wineries, and catching some dinners. So sit back and enjoy. Our first morning, we went to Sm the Smoky Griddle, which is a Mexican pancakes house, I believe. <laughs> it was really, really good. There are so many choices. Um, we got a magazine as soon as we checked in and had all the different places. There was a lot of coupons for 10% off here or there. This one had a coupon for 20% off before nine o'clock or 10% off after. We got there after. <laughs> I got a Mexican omelet. It was great. I have to note that I, on this trip, was doing the keto diet too, which made it a little challenging, but it really wasn't too hard. You just brush away the, the potatoes and the bread. That night we checked out Jose Tequilas. Um, like I said before, I was I'm on keto, but my husband isn't for you carb lovers, so you get to see what he's eating, and he got to have the margarita. It was a very, very huge margarita. <laughs> he enjoyed it very, very much. I had to drive home. <laughs> it was really good. Um, the food was great. I ended up getting some sort of chicken with chili and cheese on it. And I didn't eat the, you know, the rice and the beans and stuff. Just brushed it away. I gave it to my husband. And he had this taco thing, which he enjoyed very much. This place is cute. It is decorated, like, really cute. I mean, even the bathroom was really cute. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for a fun, funky place, it wasn't too busy. It was like a, a, I think it was a Monday night we were there. The next afternoon, we went to the Williamsburg Winery. Not to be confused with the Williamsburg Winery that is in Colonial Williamsburg. That's more of a tasting room, like a place that you go in and do like a wine tasting and order by the glass or the bottle. This is an actual winery. There's a restaurant and a hotel that's like on the same property there. It was really cool. And I'm adding the wineries to this because even though we didn't eat there, it was still a, a, a drinking event. <laughs> we, we had um, the wine samplers. They're doing, rather than like you go to the bar and do a tasting, they're giving you like a choice of three wines. And you just sit and you sip and you overlook the beauty of this place. It was, I mean, the music, I loved it. It was kind of like a Sinatra, but it wasn't Sinatra. It was like remakes of Sinatra-esque type songs. It was just really cool. I, I loved it. There was a lot of cool places to sit. We stayed there for probably three hours. We ended up um, picking a wine that we liked and we um, bought a bottle and we took the rest home. You we were able to cork it. I'm noticing I'm keep saying we took it home we're going home we are staying at the Williamsburg plantation which is now vacation villages cool place and speaking of cool places is we're going to craft 31 this place is neat I had gone there a couple years ago and I remember them having one of those build your own Bloody Mary bars on this Sunday brunch and I was like oh this is amazing so we got burgers that's what we were in the mood for after the winery we're like let's go get burgers all right now, possibly my favorite pancake house out of the four we went to is Colonial Pancake House. Why? I'm not sure. <laughs> it, it was just adorable. And um, I mean, all the places had great service. I mean, the, the pancake houses you just cannot beat for breakfast in Williamsburg. I live in Connecticut and Shelton and there's like nowhere to go. We have like Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> for breakfast. We don't have like all these great places. So we really take full advantage. And my husband, as you can see, he loves the pancake houses. <laughs> he had the corned beef hash and French toast. And I had just like an egg with feta cheese and was it American cheese? It was so good. Okay, now we're gonna take another little trip to another winery. This is called Saudé Creek. I believe it's called Saudé Saud. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but this place is cool. I keep talking about my husband. Kelly is probably in more of these videos than me because I'm always taking them. Um, yeah, we, we um, decided that yeah, he's a landscaper. So we take these trips um, in the winter time when he's not working because he's not doing snow plowing. He calls himself a three season landscaper. So on the winter time, this is what we do. <laughs> we go check out um, different towns and this is what we're doing. We're supposed to be doing actually two weeks here, but then he had hip surgery. <laughs> So we ended up missing one of our weeks, but this winery was really cool. Like I said, it was an hour away. The wines were good. Same thing. They gave us um, samplers, like you got to choose three 
three of them. So we ended up getting two. We got um, one, he had one and I had one. And between the six, we got to just decide which one we wanted. We didn't end up staying because it was chilly that day and we were like, you know, <laughs> hungry again. <laughs> so we ended up at Tuscany, which is from where we were staying, a vacation village. I mean, you could literally walk there if you wanted to. And look at Danny and Sandy sat with us. This meal was fantastic, possibly my favorite dinner. I mean, it was, those vegetables, oh my God, so perfect, fresh, seasoned beautifully. We had the chicken parmesan and I had the chicken marsala, both were fantastic. All right, the next day we went to Amber Ox on a lot of recommendations. This place was cool, it was very hip. Um, we had beer, <laughs> Kelly had beer. There was a a deal. It was like I think ten dollars, maybe twelve dollars for a beer and a burger. So it was like a Wednesday special. So we went there, and uh, I ended up getting wine and gave Kelly my beer. <laughs> um, the burger, you know, was small for me because look, there was no bun or anything. And these French fries, on all the things I couldn't eat, were the hardest to resist. They were absolutely scrumptious looking. <laughs> The next morning, we hit Capital Pancake House. Um, it was adorable. Like I said, like all the pancake houses there are just also unique and special. This omelet was really good. I, I got four different omelets from four different places, and they were all just really, really good. So I tried the grits. <laughs> he never had them before. He wasn't a fan, but he had all my carbs to take home. And here we are, Outback Steakhouse. I really wasn't sure about this because we have one in the town we live in, but my husband Kelly really wanted a steak. Really, really wanted one, and he knew he was gonna get a good steak here, and that we did, and we uh, it was actually really good. Um, you know, the bread, didn't have that, but the salad was good for me, and the place was really nice, nicely lit. We had really good service, and I got a chicken thing with like vegetables and cheese on top of it. It was, it was a good meal. I was. Um, like I said, I'm, I usually don't go to chains when I'm away, but you know, there's my chicken dinner right there. But it, 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 was, it did the job, let's put it that way. It was really good. In Mama Steve's House of Pancakes. This one was probably the closest to where we were staying. Uh, we drove past it so many times, we're like, we gotta go try it there. <laughs> the portions were smaller, but so were the prices. Um, I left there kind of hungry, to be quite honest with you. It was, um, you know, I couldn't eat the bread and this, you know, the egg was like salsa and eggs. It wasn't like a lot of cheese or anything on there. But look at this place, it's so cute. It was a uh, very, he almost had like a 70s vibe to it. It was neat. Next day, we wanted to take a road trip. So we went to Hampton Winery. Um, it was interesting. We didn't know. I thought we were going to go over a bridge, but we had to go on a boat. We pulled our car onto like a little shuttle boat that took us to like another part of Virginia to take us to this beautiful winery. I read about it because they had goats and I'm like, I want to go see some goats. They had like a goat tower and stuff. But look how pretty this is. Like when you pull up, it was just quiet like when you got out of your car you, like listen there's like no noise <laughs> it was it was really something it was it was very beautiful to see in here this place was cute they had a, a gift shop you know when you first walked in the people that worked there were lovely they were really really nice and kind they had little snacks you could buy if you were hungry too we didn't we just did the wine tasting um, they had indoor and outdoor seating that you could go to um, but we sat outside it was just absolutely adorable and like I said it's just so peaceful and quiet it was just uh, really nice so this is how they do their samplers they just give you it's like you go to the bar and you tell them what you want but rather than drinking it at the bar you take it to wherever you want and then I just picked the one I wanted and had just a glass because I wanted to go see the goats because you know that's what I'm here for you know well, wine and goats you know <laughs> what a better way to spend the Saturday afternoon <laughs> <laughs> They're really, really cute and friendly. Some of them, they were like, hey, you don't have any snacks? I don't want to be bothered with you. Where's the snacks? So, <laughs> but look how cute they are. How sweet.
I definitely would return here, even though it was an hour away from where we were staying, if we come back to Williamsburg, just because it was just such an amazing ride and <laughs> seeing the animals was great. Like I said, where I, li I live in Connecticut, it's just chaos everywhere, cars everywhere. There's always sirens going, you know, so to hear absolute peace, it's just absolutely so nice for us. So we would have stayed there longer, but Kelly, my husband's cousin, was going to come and visit us from, he lives in Virginia Beach, I think, area. So he was going to come, and we were trying to think of somewhere really fun and trendy to go to with him, you know, because he's younger and single. So we were looking at um, oceans and ale and, like, really cool places. There was another Opus, I think. It was a steakhouse we were looking at. But then, you know, when we got there, there was like an hour and a half wait, you know, I didn't do very good with the reservation stuff. So <laughs> we ended up finding this little cute place, Jefferson Steaks and Seafood. I mean, it wasn't the most trendy place in the world, but it was cute. And they love their steaks and stuff. It was like really kind of a meat and potatoes kind of place. Um, I think my meal was a little bit, you know, bland. It was like chicken with like, you know, seasoning on it. But, you know, it was just such an adorable place to catch up. You know, they had, you know, the waitress was absolutely sweet, so sweet. And, you know, we had wine. And this was a peanut soup, which was pretty cool. It was kind of like one of those places, you know, you get a soup and a salad. And, you know, everything was kind of like a meal deal. My husband gave me his onions because he detests onions. So it made my meal a little bit more exciting. But the boys love their steak. So it was a good time. So I hope you enjoyed this video um, of all these great places that I went. I can't wait to go back and try more. So please leave me um, if you are familiar with Williamsburg yourself and places that you like to go. I would love to hear because I would love to go, you know, check them out next time myself. So let me know if you've been to any of these places. And please check out my videos um, of Williamsburg. I went to several different hotels and took a video. So um, check it out and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. This is Jennifer Sparks. Enjoy your day and have wonderful travels to you.